Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome to Scorch. I am your instructor, Tony Horton. Now, before we get going, you need two things. First one being a treadmill, and then grab a pair of dumbbells, which you'll be using throughout the class as well. Let's get warmed up. We don't want to do any sprints and jumping and, run and running without getting warmed up. So go ahead and come on your treadmill. We're going to start off with a two-minute run. No incline or grade. Once you have 60 to 70% of your max heart rate, you're on in five, four, three, two, one, and go. All right, guys, so this is your warm up. Again, two minutes here, 60 to 70% of your max heart rate. Once you focus on increasing that heart rate, getting the blood flow to the legs, get everything nice and loose so you can work at your maximum effort throughout the workout. Again, this speed should feel very comfortable. You know, I don't want you pushing too hard just yet. That's how you pull a muscle or in your hip flexor or your quad. So make sure this is nice and smooth. In 20 seconds, we'll increase that speed just a little bit. Okay, guys, 15 seconds. Okay, guys, increase that speed in eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, guys. You got one more minute. So you're just increasing your speed to just a faster jog. Again, you're not sprinting. It should still be a comfortable pace, but only a little bit faster. Once we're done with this in the next 45 seconds, we're going to drop that speed down to 2.5. And we're going to do just two callous think moves of running high knees and lateral shuffles. Hey guys, pump those arms. Try to get the rhythm of your breathing. Inhale, exhale out. You got 30 seconds left. Twenty seconds remaining. Keep pushing. There we go. We got ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, guys. Drop your speed between two and 2.5 miles per hour. If that feels too slow or too fast, you can always increase or decrease it. Now, take it to some running high knees on the treadmill. Just bring those knees to your chest and pump those arms. Give me 20 seconds here. Pump, 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 pump. Again, this is going to help with your running form. Think about driving your arms up, driving your knees up, and pumping those arms. There we go. Ten seconds here. In five, four, three, two, and time. All right, guys. Carefully turn to your right. Put your hands on the treadmill, and you're going to give me a lateral shuffle. You're going to give me 20 seconds, and then we're going to switch to the other way. Here we go. Again, just lateral shuffling. Again, you can hold on. If you feel comfortable letting go, you can let go and just lateral shuffle without holding on. If you feel like you need to increase or decrease your speed, please feel free to do so. We're going to switch sides very carefully in four, three, two, one. Grab onto the treadmill, face forward, and then I want you to carefully turn towards the left. And you're going to shuffle again for 20 seconds. There we go. Now make sure to use the same speed on both sides. Got 15 seconds left. There we go. Trying to work those lateral muscles and you got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and time. All right, guys, that's our warm up. Now we're gonna get into the main portion of scores, starting with section one. We have three one minute runs, Super setting with strength training as well. Your first set is going to be 2% grade at 70% max heart rate. Set two is going to be 4% grade at 80% max heart rate. And then your last set, set three, will be 6% grade at 90% max heart rate. All right, guys. Are you guys ready for Scorch? Go ahead and get back on your treadmill if you were off. Again, set one will be for a 2% grade, 
So move that incline to two and find a speed at about 70% of your max hardware. You're not going all out, but something just to kind of a decent speed, something that you're going to work at, but not you're not struggling with yet. We're going to start set one in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and go. Again, guys, this is set one, 2% grade at 70% mass heart rate. Start to focus on your breathing. Make sure you're inhaling through your nose, small breaths out through your mouth. You want to pump those arms and legs. There you go. How are we doing so far? Now, what I'm going to do, although it's set one, you're only at 70% mass heart rate, I'm going to ask you just to pick up that pace for those last 10 seconds, just a little bit of a sprint. You can push your body closer to the treadmill platform, or you can actually increase your speed. We got 20 seconds left. All right, guys, pick up that speed in four, three, two, one. Last 10 seconds here. Push, push, push. Let's pick that pace up a little bit more. You got five, four, three, two, one, and pause your treadmill. All right, guys, you got 20 seconds to grab your waist. For your first set, well, you'll be doing this three out, hammer curl to shoulder press. So keep those elbows right to your rib cage. You're going to inhale, exhale up. Once your dumbbells at the top, you're going to press it up. You got three, two, one, and go 40 seconds. Again, inhale down, exhale up, right into that press. Try to squeeze those elbows right to your rib cage. What you're targeting here is your biceps and your forearm muscles, especially your brachioradialis muscle. And then on the press, you're working your medial deltoid and triceps secondarily. You got 20 seconds left. Keep breathing. I want you to make sure to tuck that pelvic, slightly bend your knees just a little bit. Make sure you're not arching your lower back. All right, guys, here we go. You got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and time. All right, guys, 20 seconds. Get yourself back onto that treadmill. Now, for set two, raise that incline to a 4% grade, and now you're going to be at 80% of your max heart rate. Again, this is set two. And four, three, two, one, and you're on. Let's go set two. Now, with set two being faster, I want you to make your run more efficiently. Try to find more of your rhythm. Equal opposite reaction. One arm up. Bring your knees to your chest. There we go. And breathe. Forty seconds remaining. How we doing? Doing good. Keep it up. This is just set two. You're getting yourself ready for that set three. There we go. Last 30 seconds. Again, 15 seconds will have you inc increase that speed or pick up that pace in the last 10 seconds. Here we go. All right, here we go in five, four, three, two, one. Last 10 seconds, pick up that speed a little bit more. Push, you got this all the way through. Don't stop early. You got four, three, two, one, and time. All right, guys, 20 seconds. Stop or pause your treadmill, then carefully step off. Set yourself up for your second set of hammer curl or press. Now, if you feel you can go a little heavier, you can go a little heavier. Keep the same weight you got. Here we go. In four, three, two, one, and go. Second set, hammer curl or press. Again, inhale down. Exhale up right into that press. Now, if you don't want to go straight into your press, you can hammer curl first, pause for a second, and then press. If you feel like the press is difficult for you, you can do what's called a push press, whereas once you bring your dumbbells up, slightly bend your knees, and then straighten them and press up at the same time. Good. Got 15 seconds remaining. Remember, squeeze those glutes. Roll your hips forward. Slightly bend those knees. You guys got eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, time. All right, guys, 20 seconds back on your treadmill. This is set three. This is going to be your most challenging set so far. You're going to be a 6% grade and 90% of your max heart rate. You got 10 seconds. 
Are you ready? Here we go. Four, three, two, one, and you're on. So you should be at a 6% grade and 90% of your max heart rate. You should be really moving here. Now, if you feel like your speed is too much for you, you want to back it off, that's okay. Back it off. But I want you to keep moving, though. Try not to drop to 70% unless you have to. If you have to drop, try to drop just to 80% again. You're almost there. Yes, I'm still going to ask for that 10-second push at the end. Last 30 seconds. You got this, guys. Are you staying with your pace? There you go. Try to keep up with me. I'm running too. I'm right there with you. Last 15 seconds. Three, two, one. Last take a second. Pick up that pace all the way through. You got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and time. Awesome job. You guys are rock stars. All right, guys. Set yourself up for your third set of hammer curls. You got 10 seconds left. In eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and inhale. Exhale up, right to press. This is your last 40 seconds here. There we go. Keep it going. Now, if you feel like you have to pause for a second to catch your breath at the bottom, that's fine. Take a second or two, catch your breath, and then hammer curl it back up right into that press. Last 20 seconds. How are we doing? Yeah, your arms starting to burn a little bit. They should. You guys have been working hard. Got your last 10 seconds. Try to give me at least four more reps. In eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and time. All right, guys, that is set one. You got a 40 second recovery. In this 40 second recovery, I want you to try and stretch out your quads. And then stretch out your shoulders. You can stretch out your quads by grabbing your foot or ankle and then bringing your heel to your butt. Or section two, we have a four minute run. What you're going to do, you're going to switch every 30 seconds from 70% of your max heart rate to 90% of your max heart rate. There will be no recovery in between. If you want to add a grade to your treadmill, you can. We're starting in four, three, two, one, and go. This is your first 30 seconds. Again, you're just at 70% of your mass heart rate. I will give you a little countdown to cue you as you move on to the 90%. You guys got 20 seconds left here. So again, this is a nice comfortable pace where you're working, but you're in control. Last 10 seconds. All right, guys, increase that speed. In five, four, three, Two, one, now you're at 90% of your mass heart. Now that speed should definitely be increasing. Your heart rate is going to increase a little bit more. There we go. Good, pump those arms more as your speed picks up. And breathe. Got 15 seconds. How are we doing at home? Again, this is just your first minute. All right, prepare to drop back down in four, three, Two, one, back down to 70%. All right, guys, this is your second minute. Keep it up. Now, as you go back down to 70%, if you feel you want to add on a little more to 70%, definitely add on a little more. This is still your workout. So if you feel you can push it a little more, definitely push it just a little bit more. Last 10 seconds. Prepare to increase back up to 90 and 5, 4, 3, Two, one, back to 90%, guys. 30 seconds. Still in your second minute. Check in with yourself. Are you breathing? Are you pumping those arms? There we go. Remember, you want to bring your knees to your chest. Dig into that treadmill and drive. Good, good, good. 10 seconds. Drop back down to 70 and four, three. Two, one, you're back at 70%. You have two minutes remaining. This will be the best two minutes of your workouts. Because you guys are prepared for this. You guys have been working hard. You already know what to do. You know you're strong. 15 seconds remaining. All 
right, guys, prepare to push it back up. Are you ready? Get four, three, two, one, back up to 90%. Now, I'm going to be a little greedy here. I know you're working hard. I know you're pushing. But can you give yourself a little bit more than 90%? Can you take yourself just a, a little bit higher? You got 20 seconds remaining. This is your third minute. Come on. 15 seconds, love. All right, guys, prepare to drop that down to 70 in four, three, two, one. You're back to 70%. But again, I want you to go a little bit higher than 70 for this last 30 seconds here. Remember, this is your fourth minute, but your last 30 at 70% or higher. 20 seconds. 15. Push, push, push. All right, guys. Pick that speed up. Here we go. In four, three, two, one. Last 30 seconds. Push as hard as you can. There we go. I want you to earn your recovery. You have 20 seconds recovery, and then we're going to go right into our strength training again. 15 seconds. Can you push a little more? I want you to dig a little deeper. Drive those arms harder. Bring those knees up higher. Here we go. You got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and time. Carefully stop or pause that treadmill. All right, guys. We got a 20-second recovery here. And we're going to do three sets of renegade rows after that. Now, two ways you can do your renegade rows. You can do them on your knees and bring both elbows up. Or you can actually hold the plank position. You can have one dumbbell or two. And I want you to drive those elbows up. You got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. First set of renegade rows. You got 40 seconds here. Again, I want you to make sure to drop those hips, tuck that pelvic. You want to ideally have your shoulder, hip, knee, ankle, one straight line. Keep your spine alive. Don't have your head up. Keep your head down. Think about driving those elbows towards your straight back. Keep them close to your ribcage. 20 seconds left. And then you'll have a 20 second recovery. There we go. This is targeting your lats, traps, rhomboids, and biceps secondarily. You guys got five, four, three, Two and time, guys. 20 second recovery. Now, if you feel you can go a little heavier with your renegade rows, go a little heavier or keep the same weight you got. Get two more sets and 10 seconds now. Here we go. And five, four, three, two, one. This is set two. 40 seconds of your renegade rows. Again, inhale down, push through the other hand, drive that elbow straight back. And as you come back, squeeze those back muscles. Don't just bring your elbow back. Think about squeezing your back. A lot of us work at desk, so we want to have a strong back. We don't want to avoid having our shoulders round from posture every day. So we want to make sure we keep everything in alignment. 15 seconds left. Squeeze those abs. Pull that belly button to your spine. This is your back, but I still want you to engage those abs and core. You got four, three, two, and time, guys. 20 seconds recover, and then you guys will have your final set. How are we doing at home? You guys doing good? I want you to crush this last set. I mean, like, literally crush it. Don't crush the dumbbell because you need that to lift, but just crush it. Here we go. You're back on in four, three, two, one. Angle. This is your last set of 40 seconds renegade rows. Now, if you feel like if you're holding a plank and you feel like you need to like take it down now, you can go ahead and come to your knees. Or if you've been working on your knees and you want to push a little more, try to come into that plank. Again, you can have one dumbbell or two. The goal is to dry those levels back and work those back muscles and your core. 15 seconds. Can you get a few more reps? 10 seconds. There we go. Get eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and time. Awesome job. You guys rocked it out. All right, guys, 40 seconds recovery here. You're going to be back on your treadmill. Now, we have a double Tabata. You have 20 seconds on, 
10 seconds off with two different exercises. You're going to do sprints on the treadmill at 90% of your max heart rate. You're going to pause or stop your treadmill and you do burpee jump squats. With your burpee jump squats, make sure to bend your knees first, jump out or step out. All right, guys, round one in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One and go. This is round one, 20 seconds. Again, you're on a treadmill sprinting at 90% or higher of your mass heart rate. There we go. Push, push, push. This is where you improve. This is where you're going to get faster and better. Okay, four, three, two, one. Pause that treadmill and carefully step off. You got burpees in five, four, three, two, one. One angle, 20 seconds here. Again, bend those knees, plant those hands. Jump out or step out, step in or jump in, and then go right into a jump. Make sure when you land after you jump, land with those knees bent, and then plant those hands again. Avoid rounding from your lower back. You guys got four, three, two, and time. All right, guys, back on the treadmill. 10 seconds. Here you go, four, three, Two and you're on 20 seconds. This is round three. Oh, yeah, we're moving fast. You're gonna get through this. If you can't increase your speed every round, try to stay consistent. There we go. Get five, four, three, two, and time. 10 second recovery. Carefully step off your treadmill. Back to your burpees in four. Three, two, and go. 20 seconds here. This is round four. Again, bend those knees, plant those hands, jump out, step out, and I want you to explode off that floor as you come up. There we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and time. 10 second recovery. Carefully back on your treadmill. Now, with these last four rounds, I want you to try to increase that speed. Three, two, one. You're back on 20 seconds. Now see if you can go just a little bit faster than you did in rounds one and three. This is round five. You got 10 seconds remaining. Four, three, two, and time, guys. 10 seconds. Carefully off your treadmill. Back to your burpees. In four Three, two, and you're on. This is round six. You're almost there. You got three more rounds. This double Tabata is easy for you. You got this. You've done this before. You're getting stronger every second. In four, three, two, and time, guys. Last two rounds. Back on your treadmill. You're on again. In four, Three, two, and you're on. Make this your fastest sprint of the day. Only 15 seconds left. There we go. You guys got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and time. 10 second recovery. Carefully step off that treadmill. Last set of burpee squat jumps. Three, two, and you're on 20 seconds. Now I want you to try to go a little bit faster. As soon as you hit the ground, kick out, come right back up. There we go. Last 10 seconds here. Keep breathing, inhale down, exhale up in four, three, two, and time. Whew, good job. I felt that too at home because I was doing it with you. You guys have a 40 second recovery here. Grab some water, grab your towel, wipe the sweat off. And now we have our fourth session, guys. You have a three minute hill run at a eight or 10% grade. The way it's going to work for the first minute, 30 seconds, you're going to be going at eight or 10%. Again, you will be about 80, 90% of your max heart rate. After that minute, 30 seconds, you're going to come off your treadmill and you're going to give me 30 seconds of push ups. All right, guys, back on your treadmill. You got 10 seconds. In eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
two, one, and go, guys. This is your first minute and 30 seconds. Again, you should be at about an 8 or 10% grade on that treadmill. Have your speed somewhere about 80 to 90% of your max heart rate. Now, if you feel 80 to 90% of your max heart rate is a little much for you, you can go ahead and back it down a little bit. I want you to finish your time. There we go. Just think in this time as you on your, climb your hill, at least two results. The better you run at this hill, the, the stronger you're getting, the more you improve. And there is no failure. You're doing, you're working at the best of your ability. Okay, guys, 45 seconds left. Stay with it. How we doing at home? You guys got 30 seconds left. Now what I want you to do, I want you to try to pick up that speed just a little bit more. It doesn't have to be a lot. Just pick it up a little more. You got 20 seconds left here. Breathe. Keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two and time. Awesome job, guys. Carefully pause that treadmill. I don't want you to step off. You got push ups in 15 seconds. You're going to give me 30 seconds. Now, you get bonus points if you can do clap push ups, but good old fashioned push ups are also fine. If you have to do them on your knees, that's fine. We're on in three, two, one, and go. 30 seconds. So make sure arms are about shoulders apart. Inhale down. Exhale up. There we go. 20 seconds left. Remember, push-ups are working your chest, shoulders, and triceps. Just like with those renegade rows, tuck that pelvic, abs tight. You guys, you got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and time. All right, guys, you got 15 seconds to get back on your treadmill to finish the rest of your three-minute run, another minute, 30 seconds. Back on it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And you're back on. Now, again, I said before you should be at an eight or 10% grade. Now, whatever you did the last time, see if you can increase that grade by at least one, even two if you want to. There we go. Challenge yourself here. When we get to our final 30 seconds, I'm going to have you increase that speed a little bit more. There we go. I'm going to climb that hill. There's nothing but success at the top of this hill. It's 30 seconds now. You got one minute remaining. Remember, keep your chin tuck. Pump those arms. Bring those knees to your chest. There we go. All right, guys. You're going to increase that speed. For the last 30 seconds, in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Last 30 seconds here. See if you can increase that speed just a little bit more. See if you can put yourself at 90% or higher of your max heart rate. Yes, 20 seconds. Here we go. Good, guys. Keep reading. Last 15 seconds. Think about all the hard work you've put into this. You guys got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and time. All right, guys, 15 seconds. Carefully step off that treadmill, then you'll have your final set of push ups. You guys are amazing. You guys are legit superheroes. We're back on in five, four, Three, two, one. This is your last set of push-ups. 30 seconds here. Now, I think I said earlier you guys owe me about three clap push-ups. So if you can do those clap push-ups, go ahead and give them a try. And if you know you can't do clap push-ups, that's okay. Just work on them. You'll get there eventually. Or you can push up, take one hand to your opposite shoulder, go back down, and repeat. You guys got eight, seven, six, five. Four, 
three, two, and time. Awesome job, guys. So what I want you to do, I want you to come back on your treadmill. We're going to do a little cool down. We're just going to do a two-minute run, no grade, no incline. I want you just at 60 to 70% of your max heart rate. Go ahead and hop on your treadmill. Start our cool down in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and go, guys. Again, this is just two minutes. You should not be sprinting. You're only at 60 to 70% of your mass heart rate. That is a nice, slow jog. I want you to focus on bringing your heart rate down, getting the lactic acid out of your legs. You already did all the hard work. Now this is your time to just relax. Now, next time you take the scorch workout, what I want you to do, I want you to think about ways you can challenge yourself even more. That can be increasing your grade a little bit on the treadmill or picking up that speed a little more. But don't worry about that right now. Just think about that next time you're on it. For right now, just think about all the great work you did today. You guys, 15 seconds left in our first minute. One minute remaining. You can even slow your treadmill up a little bit more now. There we go. Let your arms just flow naturally. Try to stay relaxed. Let your body just do the work for you. You got 45 seconds. Keep breathing. Don't hold your breath. Inhale. Exhale out. Nice, controlled, slow breaths. Thirty seconds remaining. Now, with a workout like Scorch, where you're working a lot of your hip flexors and quads, you want to be sure to work your opposite muscle groups like your glutes and hamstrings. And you also want to very important to stretch, especially your calves, quads, and hamstrings. You guys got ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two and time. All right, guys. Before you leave the treadmill, carefully stretch out your quads, grab that foot or ankle. Do that about 30 seconds on each leg, maybe more, depending on how much you need. And then I want you to take your leg, put it on top of the treadmill, and stretch out those hamstrings and reach for those toes. From there, you can stretch out your shoulders and triceps. Thank you for joining me in Scorch. I will see you next time. Keep up the great work. And again, this is Tony Horton. Thank you.